Now we're going to move on to another previous bestseller. I'm confident you will have heard of this particular line. It's Holland, America. And in this particular time, we're going to be starting our trip by taking you all the way out to Santiago. Yeah, South America, an incredible place to cruise to. And that's what cruising does. It opens up so many amazing destinations. So you're flying out to Santiago. You've got two nights there in an amazing hotel. And this, literally, the whole city sits there. Look at that photo at the foot of the Andes with the snow-capped mountains there. An incredible, dramatic mountain range. Um, you know, the air here is some of the freshest in the world. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, you've got a chance to explore this amazing city. You've got Chile's in internationally renowned wine district, just a short drive to the south. Um, you can go through to the main square and see the changing of the guard, which is every other day at 10 a.m. Maybe take the funicular through to the UNESCO uh, harbour of Valparaiso. And, of course, enjoy the Bella Vista neighbourhood, which is bursting with street art and great food. And uh, one of the homes of a Nobel Poet Prize, Pablo Neruda, which he built for his third wife, just his third wife, as you do. <laughs> Not a home for each of them, uh, which is really beautiful. It's full of winding street gardens. OK. Um, well, before, before we go anywhere else, let's take an opportunity now to see your ship, to see your home for this particular cruise. Amidst the huge choice that's now available within cruising, Honda America Line offers an experience that's quite unique. It's premium class, but not pretentious. It's elite without being expensive. And with a proud history stretching back over 140 years, Holland America Line is perfect for the discerning traveller who loves to see the world from the comfort of an elegant hotel at sea. Known for the most extensive menus at sea, served gracefully in elegant restaurants. Thank you. Holland America Line offer a plethora of excellent dining options. In the main dining rooms, guests may choose from fixed or flexible dining times, and the service is always gracious and the menu both varied and delicious. Fans of Italian food will salivate at the offerings from Canaletto's, and everyone will enjoy the steak and seafood of the wonderful Pinnacle Grill. Enjoying a few drinks in the company of friends, both old and new, is one of the highlights of any cruise. For some, it might be a glass of bubbly or a tasty martini in mix, whilst for others, a pre-show tipple in the ocean bar will be just what the doctor ordered. Whichever location you choose, expert bartenders will remember your preferred cocktail, or they'll help you discover a new favourite. Hond America's latest trump card is On Location, which brings the ports you visit alive through regionally inspired cookery classes, artisan workshops and local entertainment. You can experience steel drum lessons in the Caribbean or Tai Chi classes in Asia or a legendary ketchup dance in Bali. The evenings on board glitter with so many choices with live music, thrilling stage shows and the ever popular Dancing with the Stars at Sea program. Bored? <laughs> Not a chance. It's about getting the little things right, and nowhere is this more obvious than the accommodation. All Holland America Line staterooms have premium plush Eurotop mattresses, 100% Egyptian cotton bed linens, extra fluffy towels, and deluxe Terry bathrobes. Recent additions include innovative massage shower heads, lighted magnifying makeup mirrors, and stylish air dryers. And of course, your complimentary fruit basket. <laughs> He always has to have the fruit, doesn't he? Always has the fruit. Well, it's, it's healthy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's take an opportunity to see the itinerary, because it is stunning. Of course, we're going all the way around the southern tip of America's. Yeah, and you're going to get a chance to cruise the Cape Horn. Wow, that's all we can say to this. So you've got on board the ship now, Vaporaza. You're heading out 14 nights on board this amazing ship. Do the iPod tour as you walk around and see the amazing artwork. Relaxing date sea before you pull into Puerto Montt. That's your first port of call. Um, again, this is get chi the gateway to Chile's magnificent lake district. Snow-capped volcanoes gazing down on these alpine valleys nestled into low hills with these dramatic rivers. Just look at those pictures. Um, and again, this whole area was actually originally set by lots of German immigrants. You can see their leg legacy in these manicured rose gardens if you go through to Puerto Var Varas uh, and the German villages of this area. Or, of course, go up to Fujiyama, which is, um, well, I say that, Ozano, which is the Fujiyama of South America. That's the mountain that you can go up and enjoy. It's a bit of a climb, but it's worth it. Okay, then you go through to Puerto Chacabuco. This is your next port of call. This is your gateway to the wild and beautiful Isend district of Chile that's just south of Puerto Montt, where we were. And again, here, huge cliffs, uh, massive plummeting waterfalls with these immense river valleys and again the snowy backdrop of the southern Andes. You can uh. explore the gorges and the forests of the Rio Simpson National Preserve and see it all. These amazing vistas you're sailing in right up along these mountains yeah. and you're seeing an abundance of wildlife. You'd think that was Alaska to look at it, wouldn't you? You would, you would. So cruising the Chilean fjords, you're going through these studded, studded fjords full of dolphins, penguins and sea lions. Uh, then you're going to cruise through the Straits of what they call Magellan, we're named after the famous explorer. Mm -hmm. um, 
and you're going to see that the Carnell Saramento is the next is just before that as well so this is all a massive cruising area where there's just so much to see um, and Magellan through there you've got the penguin colonies there that you can go and see it's an incredible opportunity then you're going to call into a place called Ushuaia um, which is surrounded on three sides by towering peaks and it's a former penal colony um, and it's just on the Beagle Channel and it's spectacularly sited amongst these waterfalls glaciers and beach forests with an amazing marine life and again penguins wherever you go <laughs> it's incredible okay then you're going to cruise round cape horn so you've seen pictures here of Ushuaia that we talked about there it's almost kind of something out of lord of the rings that image there wasn't it mm -hmm. really really incredible really green and vibrant cruise round cape horn um, after you've done this you are entitled to have one foot on the dinner table and wear a gold loop earring there's some of the things that the sailors used to do if they survived cruising around the Cape Horn. Of course, in those days it was risky. In these days, it's not. You're on a beautiful modern cruise ship. Um, and then you're going to cruise up to the Falkland Isles, which I know is a favourite of yours, Paul, um, and is an abundant place full of wildlife. So you've got a chance to see penguins, whales, dolphins, the albatross, fens, an abundance of flowers, including the delicate pale maidens. And again, more penguins. This is the penguin cruise. Um, then a relaxing day at sea before you head through to Montevideo, which is nestled between Brazil and Argentina, it's Uruguay. It's the second smallest country in South America, one of the most literate nations in the world. A lot of great education there. It's beautiful. It's a charming kind of European feel to the capital. Are these beautiful stately buildings that you can walk past. But when you head out from the city, the countryside is full of ranch land. And it's all about the, li the life of the gaucho, the cowboy. It's all part of local law. You can go and see the gaucho museum. You can go and see them in action with their kind of horse rustling antics. Or, or go through to the port market itself. And it's an indoor maze of vendors with all these tantalizing meats. Beautiful. Um, OK, then you're going to have to move on, sadly, from Montevideo, and you're going through to Buenos Aires. Not yeah. only have you got an overnight on board on the ship, but then when you get off that from that, we're then giving you an extra two nights in a fantastic hotel in Buenos Aires. So you're getting three full days to explore this amazing city in Argentina. And again, you're getting an idea now of some of the video footage of some of what you can see. This is the Paris of the South. The south. And it was settled after the cattle boom of the 1880s. Uh, and the city features great architecture. Again, acres of woods and parks. Again, these hearty Argentinian wines and meats, the great steaks that you know that. And again, the life of the gaucho, life of the cowboy, a chance to go out and do some horse riding, see some of the local countryside. You can head into the tango uh, clubs of the yeah, La Boca district, amazing. you know, uh, and go and enjoy uh, the incredible um, area, which is in these bright reds and yellows and greens and blues that was settled by the Italians, uh, where they gave birth to the whole idea of the tango and this whole idea of this beautiful, passionate dancing. Um, I haven't even mentioned Eva Peron, of course. You can go and see her. Her, you know, the cemetery, the huge cemetery, and see her, see her mausoleum if you want to. Um, head through to the main town square. Definitely eat out a lot um, after you've been through to the Recoleta Cemetery, or through, or go through to the Colon Theatre, one of the world's great opera houses, um, which is just an immense place to go and see a show. You've got a chance. You're there for three nights. Go and see a show in the Colon Theatre. So it's an incredible mix pool of different things for you to do, um, and an incredible chance to explore. An amazing area in a lot of detail, unpacking just once. Yeah, I, I'm going to recommend it to you because I was lucky enough to do this cruise uh, back in 1999, 60 day cruises we were doing. Uh, let, let's just take you through the ship itself because it is a gorgeous ship. This is the Zandam. And when we cruised on Holland America, I say we, I, I went with my wife, and it actually was a, a real holiday, the best food we have ever had on cruise ships. Let's just remind you what's included in this trip. Uh, free up to $275 worth of spend per stateroom. You've got your return flights included. Uh, of course, you've got the opportunity to fly from most UK airports. Again, talk to the team. The number's at the bottom of the screen, and they can answer any questions that we may not have covered for you. You've got that two-night stay in your four-star hotels in Santiago, in Chile, and Buenos Aires in Argentina. It is a phenomenal opportunity. You can see the prices available. Uh, don't forget this was a previous bestseller and you've got the stay, the cruise and then the stay. And of course the other great thing is get yourself an upgrade. You can go from ocean to, uh, uh, to an ocean view for just a hundred pounds. That works out something like five pounds per person per night extra and it's well worth the spend. Don't miss out on it. Do not miss out on it.